Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part 13 of our platformer development. And in this video, we are going to improve, greatly improve our jumping. All right, let's take a look at where we are right now. It's starting to look pretty good, but we do have some problems, uh, you can see right there, with the jumping, where we're snapping to the platforms a little too quickly, and it doesn't feel very natural, right? Um, if I can get it to happen here. Um, one thing you'll notice, well, there's actually two different things going on. Okay, there, it happened right there. One is when I jump up here and I collide with this platform, even if my ears just barely touch it, my feet are gonna snap to the top of it because that's how we wrote our code so far. Okay, and that's because over here in our collision code, we are saying if we hit a platform, right? So we test to see if we collided with the platform, and if we did, we put our Y position at the top of the, of the platform. So that's why I snapped up to that one. I can do it again, right? So that's why I snapped up to this one. But why did I wind up on this one? Well, the problem happens when we collide with more than one platform at once, which you can see as soon as my feet were to get put here, I'd actually be touching two platforms at once. And if I press two, or if I contact two platforms at once, then HITS has two platforms in it. But we're snapping to our feet to HITS number zero, the first one in the list. Well, when I collide with both of these, how do I know which one's gonna be the first in the list? The answer is we don't. The sprite collide command doesn't order them in any way. So sometimes I'll be standing on this one and sometimes I'll snap to this one and I can't control which it is. So see, sometimes I'll stand on the lower one, but other times I'll snap up to the higher one. So that's very, Confusing, doesn't feel natural. So we need to do, we need to fix both of those problems. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to need to figure out which of the platforms uh, that we're hitting is the lowest. No. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna improve the uh, snapping to the top. And basically I only wanna snap, I don't wanna snap to the top if my ears just barely hit the bottom of the platform. I wanna snap to the top if my feet get high enough to, to pass the bottom of the platform. So here I'm going to say if the player's Y position is less than hit zero, Rect up bottom, and then right. So we're gonna we're gonna only snap to the platform if our feet right are higher than the bottom of the platform. Okay, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna look like this. Okay, so find a jump that's a little higher. Ah, there we go. See, so now see I can't make it onto that platform because my feet can't get high enough. But if my feet do get high enough, I might not be able to make this jump. We'll try another one. Um, if my feet do get high enough, there we go. See, I, I do get onto the platform. Okay. So that takes care of that. But it doesn't solve the multiple platforms at once problem. Okay. Um, or which one? Ah, here we go. There's a good one, right? See, I can't make this jump because... The collision is counting me hitting both of these, but this one, the top one, is actually coming out as hits zero, or the first in the list, and my feet aren't high enough to snap onto that one anymore. So I do definitely want to land on this one. So we need to also test to say when we collide, we need to find which of the ones we collided with is the lowest. 
And the lowest one is the one we're going to snap our feet to. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if we've hit a platform, then we're going to say for now that the first one is the lowest. And then we're just going to look at uh, each of the other hits and see if um, any of them are lower than that one. And if they are, then we'll call that one the lowest. So if hit.rec.bottom is less is greater than that first one. So if any of the ones in the list is lower than the one than the first one, then uh, lowest becomes that one. So now we'll know which one is the lowest. And then we can change here where we said hit zero to lowest. So now we're going to make sure we snap our feet to the lowest one if our feet go past it. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try that out and see how the jumping feels now. Now you can already see we're not doing that, that crazy snapping isn't happening anymore. Right, I barely made it to that one. And another thing we could do is we could even, right, we snap if our feet make it past the bottom of the sprite, right? Like, let's see if I can find one that's lined up just right there. Okay, so see if my feet made it past the bottom, I snap to the top. So there's still a little bit of a snapping effect, but you can see I'm standing on the lowest one, right? I'm always on the lowest one that I hit, which is much better. But we could even probably make it a little better if we snap, um, if we make it past the middle of it instead of right. Instead of snapping to it there, we could snap if we're if our feet make it halfway through the platform, right? And then there'll be even less of that effect. So we could say. If our pause rect dot center y. So let's try that out and see how that looks. So now I have to make it high enough that I'm past the center of the platform before I can uh, have my feet be on it. Which is going to mean that we might need to increase the number of platforms we're spawning because you can see I'm not able to make very many of these jumps yet or anymore. Um, but that's okay, we can adjust that as well. I just want to see how we're looking. Yeah, see this feels much more like I'm jumping to it and uh, landing on it, not teleporting through it. And we don't have any of that weird um, snapping going on. But see, there I am going to need either to increase my jump height or I'm going to need to increase uh, or decrease the distance between platforms uh, so I don't wind up stuck like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to improve our jumping a bit and we're going to make it so that we can have what's called a variable jump. Right now we jump the same no matter how hard or how long we press the space bar. Uh, but if you've played a lot of platformers, you know a lot of them, like Mario, one of the classics, has variable jump. If you tap the, the jump button really quickly, you get a you, you only jump a little bit, but if you hold it down, you jump higher. And so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is say, so uh, where's my events? Here we go. So key down, pressing the space bar does the player jump. Okay, but we're also going to add, um, and actually I'm just going to copy and paste this. We're going to add a key up event for the space bar. Okay, that way if the key goes up, then we're going to cut our jump short. Okay, so if you hold it down, you'll get the full jump, but if you press it and let go pretty quickly, you're going to cut the jump out. And what that'll allow us to do is make our jump actually be higher than it is now, and then the player can hold down to get their longer jump. Um, okay, so 
Now we just need to go define what that jump cut means. So we're going to go over here to sprites. And if you remember in our player, we did have this jumping uh, variable, which if you've been paying, if you're paying close attention, we never actually do anything with that variable anywhere. We never change it to true for anything. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to say that in uh, oops, in def jump, okay, when we jump, that's going to set jumping equal to true, okay, and that way we can only jump if we're not already jumping, right? So if jumping is false, then we can jump, and jumping becomes true, okay, which also means that back over here where we hit, uh, where we collide with the platforms. When we land on a platform, uh, we better set jumping back equal to false, or we won't be able to jump again. So now we can do the jump cut. And jump cut is just going to be if, uh, if we're jumping, right? We don't want to do it if we're not jumping. If we're jumping, then as long as our um, y velocity, right, our y speed, remember if we're going upwards, so if we're moving upwards, our, our velocity in y is going to be negative. So if we're moving up at a faster speed than minus 3, and minus 3 is just an arbitrary number that I picked, um, it's not too big. Uh, you can try out different ones and see how you like it, but basically we're just going to set it equal to that. So if we're going up any faster than this, and remember if our jump speed, our player jump right now, go to our settings, is set to 16. So when we first hit the space bar, we're going to be moving upwards at minus 16, right? And that's going to slowly decrease as the as gravity uh, pulls us downwards, but if we tap the bar, we're going to move upward at minus 16, but if we let go right away, then our speed will be less than that, so our speed is just going to cut right down to minus 3. So we'll get a very short jump if we only tap the space bar. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. Okay, so as you can see, if I tap it really quickly, I get a short jump, and if I hold it down, I get a long jump. So what that means is we can actually go over here and make this even a little bigger because you have to hold down uh, the spacebar to get that full jump. That'll make it a you know, option for the player. Now if I hold down I can get that big jump that's almost to the midpoint of the screen but I can also, if I'm trying to do a bunch of quick jumps, I have to figure out how long I want to hold them down. So that works a lot better. Right? Now the letting go, if I hold it, if I hold down the space bar and I don't let go until I'm falling, then obviously that hasn't have any effect because when I'm falling my y velocity is a positive number. So yeah, so this is if you go back and compare this to how everything was working when we started this video, this is way, 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 way bit better to, and more comfortable and a lot more fun to play. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're feeling good about the direction our game is going in. Uh, play around with it some. If you have any suggestions or comments, please post them in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.